being light and standing tall And still I swear to y'all I'm being heightened It's like when I began this understanding of the plight that I recall It's fading in the flight, that's why I'm fighting Fuck them all with my back against the wall And the vision of more like fuck what happens if I fall We done did this before If my actions all that matters and my pen is a sword No relax and I ain't asking, I'ma give them a reward It's for the cause, right? The project is called Hiding in Plain Sight um, And like that has so many different meanings I guess there was like this, this part of me for a long time that would like I'd be around people and they'd have no idea exactly what I'm about or like what I do or like everybody I work with, like they have no idea that I do this. And like then I like show them like, holy shit, like you've been, you had that the whole time? Like, yeah. What if you was like sitting on a train or some shit like next to a guy who seems like the most like humble, ordinary person in the world. He has a cure for cancer in his back pocket. You never knew, right? That's kind of like how I feel sometimes. All these things I've been holding back are like finally going to be displayed, right? They've been being displayed, but not like this before. And I'm not going to be bound by like what you tell me is like fly or what you tell me is enlightened. I'm not going to be bound by these boxes. Like I'm as free as I've ever been in my life. I'm free. I don't have no rules. start off with like nothing, with no idea, with no expectations, and you just go. I choose a sample, I let the sample speak to me. I don't think about what drums I'm gonna use. I don't think about what effect I'm gonna use. I actually like click a drum or find a drum pad or whatever it may be. And like if it speaks to me in the moment, like for what I'm doing with the beat, then I let that ride. And I do the same thing writing, like nothing. Like I, I don't come into any of these sessions with anything written. Like I come to the session or I come to the beat that's being made with nothing and I let the beat pull the words out of me, right? Another part of the process, like recently, more so recently now, that kind of like has become like a metaphor for life is like not making it this thing where you trying to make it this thing. You don't make it this thing, right? I think before they used to be like this kind of um, like a template for what real hip hop is supposed to be, right? Like you, you cut a sample up, it's soulful, boom, bap, that's it. Like nah, no more template. Like I think, you know, you can step the whole way out of it and recreate it around like exactly who you are, exactly what you're about and still come out with something. As long as it's like, as long as you pushing it out from like a real place, it's always gonna be real hip hop. Like to me, to me, that's, that's what I think real hip hop is. Rolling like a king with a crown chin up Or a lion in the jungle about to pounce Picked up all this energy My remedy is take it out on paper But I'm scared that eventually I'll take it out on It's about paper. being aware It's about learning It's about growing It's about stepping beyond your boundaries It's about being free We're not just conscious people We're not just aware people We're not just club people We're not just Like we're everything Right? We could be whatever the fuck we want to be. And at the end of the day, I think that that's exactly what the fly and the enlightened means to me. I think shit is going to continue to change. I don't think anything I ever stay the same. I think it'll always get better. It's probably one of the reasons why I can't quit. <laughs>